time though. Hello guys, thank you for staying with us and trusting the channel Final Whistle where we give you updates, gist, news and all activities relating to sports. The international break is finally over and various players called by their country to represent them in either Nations League or qualifiers are back to their club and ready to light up your weekend. The forecasters, I know you're all ready to predict and put your money where your mouth is. Today's production takes us to Turkey, Galatasaray in focus. You know we reported that Victor Simi recently signed for the Turkish giant and is considered the biggest transfer in Turkish football history. He is the current African best player, Victor Mondo Sime, M-O-N. He has resumed training and live footage is reaching us. is to show you that Victor Sime hasn't stopped smiling ever since he greased the training pitch of Galatasaray. We have seen him smiling with the likes of Dismatis and his other teammates. Like we said, Victor Sime is just happy. He's a happy person to have sorted his future out. We all know about the saga, Napoli saga. Uh, the controversial uh, transfer that was supposed to happen between Napoli and Chelsea that was supposed to happen between Napoli and, and Ali but eventually nobody saw this coming and uh, Victor Simeon landed in Turkey Galatasaray we also reported that one of their main rivals is Fanabache that if if Galatasaray are actually considered the Liverpools of England of, of Turkey then Fanabache can be considered as the Manchester United of Turkey because these two teams are the main rivals and their derby is more like a two elephants fighting and you know when it's when two elephants on the fight the grass is so far around so victor sime is on the pitch training and we can see from the pictures that he's happy uh he's happy to be at the club people target that he's there for vacation he's there to sort out his future but me i target that victor sime is there to score goals regardless of how it goes and we also reported that uh, he has many players to contend with in the, in the starting line of players like um, um mario ikadi and we also reported that there's a there's a chance that uh, Buruk, the coach of Galatasaray, actually switched formation to 4 4 2 to accommodate both strikers because we feel that okay, these two strikers are big enough to start for any club in modern day football. Uh, we are, uh, according to our sources, uh, Mario Cardi is still not available for this match because he's out injured since uh, early August and might be available until the end, might not be available until the end of this month. So, Victor Sime, we are all tipping Victor Sime to actually start. All Nigeria's attention has focused from Italy now to Turkey as they will have a match tomorrow 6 o'clock against Riza Sport. Riza Sport are actually 12th on the table. They have actually played 4 matches, 1-1 one, one, and drawn 1 with 4 points out of 4. Unlike Galatasaray, they are actually sitting 2nd with a match in hand. They have actually played 3 matches and have actually won 3 out of the 3 matches. Uh, Fanabachi is actually topping the league with 10 points. They have played 4 matches drawn one and one three automatically jose Mourinho's side fanabachi are 10 points and one players they are just one point ahead of galatasaray but galatasaray have one match at hand which is probably tomorrow and uh, we'll see if they can close the gap galatasaray was supposed to be in the champions league but they, they actually played the playoff against young boys and young boys actually defeated them they are defeating uh galatasaray at home 1-0 and uh, uh, defeating them away 3-2 Hence why Galatasaray actually dropped to the Europa League spot. So regardless, we'll be seeing Victor Sime in Europe. Regardless, he will be playing the Europa League. And as uh, Galatasaray actually registered his name to be in the Europa League. So in as much as uh, Victor Sime is happy and Nigerians are all happy that he has actually started his future, we can't help but to wait and predict will Victor Sime get his first goal tomorrow because if there's anything certain is the fact that he will actually play tomorrow. We don't know if he will be fit enough if you understand the tactics of Okamburuk enough to actually start the match tomorrow but regardless of whatever minute Osina get tomorrow I'm banking on it that Osina will actually get his first goal tomorrow against Riza Sport considering that Osime is actually a man in form we saw what he did last season even after having a lot of injuries playing 32 matches scoring 17 goals and providing 14 you understand that's a remarkable start uh, imagine that he, he actually uh, missed a lot of matches you understand he's a player that has about uh, 114 uh, goals career goals with 28 assists so far like i said he's 25 years old he still has a future to look out for i'm looking at him in five or six season i'm seeing finishing you understand if not the european best player i don't see because this guy is actually good like i said it's hard for you to name three to four uh, modern day strikers at his age grade that you will not mention Victor Sime in the second or third is on that par is on that bracket 
We saw him win uh, Napoli their, their first title, their first league title in over 30 years, ever since Diego Maradona actually won it last for them. So I'm seeing an upset here. Will Victor Simi actually win Galatasaray in the Europa League? We might never know. The Nigerian sensation has done it all as he had, as he has been breaking records. If you look at his international career, he's not, look, he's not looking bad because he's the second highest goal scorer for Nigeria as he stands at uh, 22 goals for Nigeria, you understand? 11 assists in 37 matches. That's it. That, that's mad. You understand? Playing 37 matches for Nigeria, your country, scoring 22 goals and 11 assists. That's, you no, know, that's cumulatively, that's about 33 matches. 33 goal involvement in 37 matches for Nigeria. Who questions that? You understand? Nobody does that. Just to tell you how Victor Sime is actually important to whatever team he's actually playing for. So, like I said, all attention will switch to Turkey 6 p.m. as Nigerians are, are, are waiting patiently for Victor Sime to actually announce himself. You understand? If there's anything to give us joy and, and, and comfort is the fact that we have actually seen him smiling. It's been long we saw this uh, in Victor Sime. The last time we saw Victor Sime smiling is when he was actually in Super Eagles camp. Napoli actually wanted to do, do, a, do a dirty one on him, but regardless, he actually sorted out his future and is in Turkey to actually play football. So regardless, he's playing with that sport tomorrow. And if they win, they go top of the table. Like I said, Galatasaray are actually defending champion and they'll be looking to retain the trophy with Victor Sime because even without Victor Sime, they actually won the league. Imagine adding a firepower of that caliber, of that quality to your team. Definitely, you are going for the league. I don't think league is a problem. I think they want to uh, get involvement in Europe as well. And it's a good thing they are going they are, they are in the Europa League because the Champions League is more like a, a men's game now because with the likes of Madrid, the likes of Manchester City, I think that would be harder for them. But going to the Europa League where they'll see the likes of Tottenham, the likes of Manchester United, I, I, I think a lot of Nigerian fans will want to see the competition and they don't want to draw. The, I'm sure that most Nigerian fans won't want to draw Galatasaray in whatever group stages or knockout stages they, they, they actually find themselves in. So regardless, Victor Simon is actually playing uh, his first official match tomorrow, regardless whether he starts or comes from the bench. That is what we say we should report to you. You know, final, we should have actually pride ourselves on giving you a fresh update. Victor Sime is in, has resumed training in Galatasaray, being happy. We have seen him planning, linking up well with his ex teammate, Dries Martins. We have seen him linking up well with the new players around him. He's trying to master his surrounding. And believe me, Victor Sime, Victor Sime will actually adapt to whatever conditions uh, don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms on final with 931 on facebook final with 931 on twitter and known as x final with 931 on tiktok and stay glued to our youtube channel final with 931 where we give you the best of updates where we give you the full gist as it unfolds victor sime is actually in galatasaray training balling hard we hope he scores and gets a goal or more tomorrow thank you